Hey, I'm Dr. Peter Leone. Today, we're going to discuss HPV and test your own knowledge about human papillomavirus. What does HPV stand for? It's pap. pap. It's got some L's. <laughs> it's got some uh, uh, a low in it, like a lomian, uh, human papillonian, uh, pap -pap 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 Papalopicus. Um, but how much is that in Scrabble points? Oh, that's that's worth a lot in Scrabble points. Okay, okay. Human pap 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 pepperoni. It's not pepperoni. Uh, that's ridiculous. Well, I mean, human. It's, it's like the pepperoni kind of looks like an HPV, doesn't it? No, it's like a name of a horse. Papaloni and Pat, 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 Pat Malone. <laughs> Pat uh. Mahomes. But <laughs> HPV stands for a human papillomavirus. How much do you think you know about HPV? Mm. I learned a lot about STDs growing up. I was taught. Ooh. I was not taught. Or <laughs> if I was, I did not pay attention. That seems likely. Yeah. ADD, ADHD. STD, HPV. <laughs> I think I know that it's really hard to detect in men. I, I, it's dormant. I, <laughs> it lays dormant like a volcano. Then it erupts. Well, I, I think there's things with it that show up sometimes and then don't show up other times. It's really sneaky. Yes, but it's very yeah. attractive to women. True or false. Um, while most sexually active women will be infected with HPV at some point, HPV infection in men is rare. That's a trick. That's the thing where like they don't want they're like, like giving you the answer, but then it's like, oh, nope. I think it's very rare in men because of the penis and the shaft and it's so long and it takes so long to get to the back because it has to travel so <laughs> You know, because like, no, no, because like STDs have the, like that, that stealth thing right. where like everyone has them. Oh. So they're maybe like, maybe dudes just don't know they're infected. Maybe. I think I'm thinking about a um, UTI. I think that's what ah, I'm thinking about. Yeah, that's probably okay. <laughs> I'm going I'm, to. I'm going to say trick question on that and say that's, that's false. And I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to say it's very rare. True. That is false. Human papillomavirus, or HPV, is as common in men as it is in women. The cells that are infected by HPV, squamous epithelial cells, are the same in both men and women, and so we see the same rates of infection for both men and women. I like to win, and sometimes I make mistakes. It's, I mean, it's good to know it's equal opportunity between genders that it will infect either just about the same. Yeah. yeah. True or false? A person can get HPV even if they don't have sex. Huh. Hmm. Well, it's an STD. Mm -hmm. And the word sex is in STD. Yeah. And you got oral sex, so there's touching still. I'm going to say... Uh, yeah! True, you can actually get HPV infection without actually having penetrative sex. So part of it depends on how you define sex, but HPV is transmitted from skin to skin contact. So if you touch someone's genitals or come in contact with their genitals, you can get HPV. True or false? Nearly two out of every 10 cases of cancer caused by HPV occur among men. I have no idea if it causes cancer in dudes, which I should know being a dude. Yeah, well, I think we should all know, but we don't. So, maybe uh, this will help people know. <laughs> I know there's a cancer connection. Yeah. And I knew there was a cancer connection in ladies. Okay. And it would seem unfair if it would only give ladies cancer. So I'm, like, in yeah. a weird way, I'm actually hoping this is true. Yeah. Because it means there's some, like, egalitarian... Not completely balanced, because it's two out of every ten, but, right. you know, still. All right, so... I know where I'm going. You know where you're going? I think so. Ready? Oh. oh, I already went. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with false. I, I think maybe maybe the numbers are a little more equal. Let's let's find out. Okay, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. That's false. Nearly four out of ten HPV-related cancers occur in men. And unfortunately that rate has been increasing over the last decade. So we actually may get to an equal representation among both men and women. True or false? The most common type of HPV-related cancer in men in the U.S. is anal cancer. Hmm. Anal cancer. Uh, I think a lot of folks can be anal. I mean, I think most dudes are anal, I think. Which, I mean, I'm pretty sure they don't know it, though. Does that lead to cancer? 
you got the prostate stuff going on with men. That's that's a very common cancer in men. A very common cancer. That's why I think it's true. But that's the prostate's not in the anal. That's the butt, dude. <sighs> it's it's the not the same. Like, what's the other type of cancers men have? Was that testicular cancer? Te- yeah, uh, prostate. Prostate. I don't know. Cancer. I guess I guess if you can get in because the prostate's past the anus, if you can get get to there, you can get to the anus, right? Mm. But it does it and has a gatekeeper. To, <laughs> just get the gatekeeper. But the anus has to say, "No, you shall not pass." Yeah. Um, I don't think it says it so eloquently. You, know? <laughs> you <laughs> shall not pass. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna say false. I'm all about the testes. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna agree with you. Okay. Cool. With, False. The most common HPV-related cancer in men is actually in the back of the throat. Smoking may play a role in that development, but you don't have to smoke in order to be able to get HPV-related cancer in your throat. Throat. The throat. Making out. All that stuff, just like I said before. Yeah. I'm guessing it's just the making out. (laughs) That's where it's coming from. It's the own... Guys and gals. Uh, True or false? More than two-thirds of all causes of cancer of the back of the throat are caused by HPV. Past the lips, through the gums, yeah, watch so, out, hey, 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 stomach, yeah. here comes cancer. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, I'm not sh- Not how I learned that rhyme. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what, guys? Come on, scatter around. Got a little story to tell you about cancer. <laughs> Maybe that used to be more from smoking, and as people have smoked less, mm-hmm. Then there's HPVs like pulled ahead in the back of the throat mm, cancer category. Yeah. Is that a thing? I wonder if there's like institutions of statisticians who are keeping track of like what is the cancer causing winner of it at any certain <laughs> body part at any certain time? That's true. It's like a race. <laughs> yeah, like oh, store bought sure. frosting is pulling ahead right. in colon cancer, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Yeah, and then HPV is in the lead. Ooh. I'm gonna take a good guess and say yes. I, I will say false. I'm going to go ahead and say HPV winner, back of the throat cancer. True. The majority of posterior throat cancers are related to HPV. HPV is necessary, maybe even just sufficient. Smoking may play a role. In terms of acquisition of HPV, we think oral sex may actually be one of the drivers for both men and women with throat cancer. True or false? Cancer often takes years, even decades, to develop after a person is infected with HPV. Yeah. I feel like that's like a, like a cancer thing. That's a cancer thing. A cancer thing, right? just always takes for a long time. Yeah. Like, you might not know you have it now, right. and then down the road, you're like, oh, surprise! All right, there's a, a thing or a bump or a... Yeah. You know, that's a long span. I, years. I'm, I'm going to go with, with false on this okay. one. You I, know what? I'm going to side with you. I'm going to go with false on this, too. Eh. True. HPV-related cancers take many years. In fact, may take decades. And for men, particularly with anal cancer, that increased rate or risk goes over many decades to the peak rates occurring at age 50 to 60. Decades, it's, it's, it's like cancer ninja. Yeah. It's just like, like in the bushes for years. <laughs> like you go out, you trim those bushes. Maybe you pull some up, somehow it's still in there. See, I was like, I'm still here. But I ain't gonna do nothing yet. I'm still here. You got a package. <laughs> <laughs> True or false? Wow, okay. Left untreated, genital warts can develop into cancer. Huh. Now, I feel like I've heard this from doctors. People always say, don't mess with war. Oh no, that's moles. Yeah, moles, <laughs> like if it's raised and irregularly shaped, Uh huh. Then it's it could be a skin cancer. Yeah, I've never actually heard that warts are a skin cancer thing. Yeah, ready? Yeah. False. Genital warts won't turn into cancer. Different subtype of HPV. So there are types of HPV that cause cancer. Types that cause warts. They don't cross over. True or false? Men should get tested regularly for HPV. I feel like any time the question is like, you should get regularly tested, the answer is always true. Uh, right, yeah. Like anything like, that has to do with uh, in 
sex or fluids. Uh, anything, literally anything. Men should get tested in general for just everything. Yeah. Um, uh, any diseases, math. Math, uh, yes. Awareness of street lights, uh, signs. So street knowledge just. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it, like, it happens when you're getting tested for other stuff. Ooh. Like whenever like you go and get your oil changed and they're like, and your filter and your blah, 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 and your blah, blah, blah. And your HPV. Yeah, ah. just like your HPV too. I think, I think I'm, I think, I think I'm ready to answer yeah. that. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Really so is. either, no matter how you try to finagle it, then Ooh, this one's just right. hitchhiking. This is just like, I need to get a ride. Can I get a ride out yeah. of here? Let's get a ride. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go with true on this one. True. False. We don't have recommended HPV testing and screening in men. Men's anatomy is different than women, so it's actually difficult to collect samples for HPV testing from the penis. There is some controversy around whether we should do anal screening, but there are no firm recommendations around that for men. I feel hornswoggled by that question. Hornswoggled. Because it's like, yes, you should, but no, you can't. Okay, that's what, hornswoggled? Hornswoggled, hornswoggled yeah. That sounds like an STD. <laughs> True or false, while the HPV vaccine protects against genital warts in both males and females, the only cancer it prevents is cervical cancer. Cervical cancer. That's lady cancer, yeah. I think. I believe it's, that's what I think. Yeah. Cervical seems like a female type of word. Yeah. The cervix is like, that's like an inside part for ladies. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> This HPV is tricky. Yeah. HPV sounds like a confused villain. Oh, you all get genital warts. Mm -hmm. Or not. Mm -hmm. Then they won't be the cancerous kind, but they'll stop you from getting a date. <laughs> I think the cervix is like, it's either like a part or a bone inside of a lady. It's a... Because I feel like sometimes when they have like babies, something happens to the, cer the cervix. Dilates? Oh. The cervix dilates it's when like the baby's an, coming. It's like an organ. <sighs> False. The HPV vaccine actually does prevent HPV related cancers. Cervix in women, anus in both men and women, and we believe it actually will reduce the risk of throat cancer in both men and women. I'm just glad that the vaccine doesn't just do one thing, yeah. like one cancer. That would suck. True or false? Boys and girls should be vaccinated against HPV at the ages, ages of 11 to 12. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess they should because, I mean, I don't know. I, I, wasn't, not, I wasn't active as a kid or 11 or 12 year old. I was, I was, I mean, but could I, that be the point? You're not active yet. So it's like, oh, here comes, here comes HPV. We're gonna stop it before it gets to the bus. <laughs> so it goes HPV. It's a, a pre-stop to the bus. Come on, stop. kids! The HPV is on its way. <laughs> I mean, it seems early. It seems it does definitely. Seem but early. it might be one of those things where, like, they get the HPV vaccine in, and then like it bonds with like the testosterone and or the like, estrogen as like you develop and you get stronger defenses. Yeah, like all when that. you start doing like sit-ups when you're young. So I'm, I'm gonna say maybe you get it earlier than that. Maybe this is another one of those tricky, hornswoggly questions. I'm gonna say yes. You ready? Yeah. True. We want to vaccinate boys and girls before they have sex, however you want to define sex. The HPV vaccine is a prophylactic vaccine, so the goal here is to vaccinate kids before they can get infected. One thing we were both right about mm -hmm. is that Getting it done early. Maybe I was a little too. You, you, you a little too early. Yeah, yeah. But just getting it done is safe, better safe than sorry. Yeah. When it comes down to it, uh, because those are those ages where things start to get active in a lot of different ways. I feel like I know a little more about HPV now. Well, I have to say, Jeff, I've learned a lot today. I uh, I too have have learned a lot. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and you learned a little bit more about HPV and its diseases. Mm -hmm.